Hi there and welcome back to another video. Now very recently I published a video using a, uh, a 33 foot wire, 10 meter long wire, which was mounted to the car via a single mag mount and a, a pair of binding posts and run up very as a gentle slope up towards the top of a 12 meter fiberglass pole, which was in a drive on mount, which the car was on. Um, and it worked really well as a quarter wave. Now, what I thought I'd do this time is use the very same piece of wire, uh, but this time have it uh, fed via a, uh, a an end fed half wave transformer. In this case, a 56 to 1, which my friend Colin MM0 OPX made a little wee batch of, which I've acquired. So, thank you to Colin. Um, we're going to run it again as a sort of gentle sloper going up to the pole. Um, but also just to say that uh, you could obviously use this as a straight vertical with the transformer uh, around a metre or two up from the ground on the same pole itself, running straight up as a vertical, or you could use it as a um, as a sort of a sloper going away from the vehicle, going towards a tree or a pole which you've got strapped to a fence, anything like that, to see if it works. So we're going to try it out and see how we go. Um, as it turned out, the wire was a little bit long. The SWR was flat at around 13 and a half megahertz, something like that. Um, but that was okay. I just had the tuner next to the 891. I think the SWR without the tuner was actually about two and two and a half to one. Uh, in fact, the very first thing I did, as you'll see in a minute, I just lashed it up, switched it on, and made a very nice contact. So I'll show you that in a second. So that's the 56 to one. And the wire, as you can see, go to the hot side, and it's a sloping gently up towards the top of my 12 meter pole smooth of the air. Now, this is tad long at the moment, it's uh, actually flat at about 13 megahertz. But I'm just going to put the uh, LDG tuner near the rig and say stuff it. And as you can see in a second, even with a fairly high SWR, it works. Enjoy, you've seen the antenna, and I hope you copy okay, QSL. QSL, Dave, no problem. I got a bit of a high SWR, I've just put up an end fed half wave, literally just thrown it up. I got to tune it, but uh, no problem. You're 53, Dave. 53. Over, over. Yeah, QSL on the 5 Mike Radio Delta QSL. Here is Tim, Tango, India, Mike, and you're 5 and 7 QSL. I'm doing, I'm doing family, you're 5 and 7 also. My name is Andy. I'm located 50 kilometers north from Warsaw in a little village Kachisek. Uh, Kachisek, 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 and thank you for the call. Echo Alpha 3, Kilo Tango, Germany 5, Tango Mike Portable. Uh, gracias Fair 73, have a great weekend. Hey, Josh, number 5, Tango Mike Portable, Team, Team, many thanks for the contact. My best 73 is also a good weekend for you. So what's good about the setup? Well, it worked pretty well. The DX contacts into VK and Alabama certainly proved it did okay, and the bands weren't really good at all on the day I tested it. Um, What's also good, of course, is it will be an improvement on any short, fairly short mobile whip, where you've got a two, two and a half meter long whip, monoband whip. It's got to be better. It's a full size half wave. It has to be much better and much more efficient. So that's really positive. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it takes up very small amount of footprint. You're using the car as the ground as the earth. You don't need any elevated radials or any ground radials. It does the job for you. So that's really positive as well. Um, I think the 56 to 1, as good as the design as it is, it is a very good design that Collins made. He's gone to a lot of trouble about checking losses, and it's a very efficient version of the NFED half-wave transformer. Um, still won't be quite as good as an LC match, an LC coupler uh, at the base of the antenna, a monobanda, and stay tuned because I'm getting one of those to try. That's going to be exciting. But we're only talking about maybe a dB or two. It's not a huge difference. Um, and the beauty of this, of course, is you can run it as a sloper, as I said earlier, to a tree or to a pole. So it gives you a, a little bit more uh, in terms of options. And don't forget the earlier video I made using the same wire for 40 meters uh, gives you basically 
along with this transformer that we've used here today, four bands. You can use this on 20 meters and 10 as a full wave, albeit with slightly higher lobes, but you still make plenty of contacts and probably work some DX when the band's open. Um, so it gets a full wave on 10, a half wave on 20. And if you then swap over from the NFED half wave transformer back to the original setup I had with the, with the binding post, then that same wire then becomes a quarter wave on 40 and a three quarter wave on 15. So effectively what you have here is a I think a pretty efficient four band solution all for the price of literally just swapping over uh, the transformer to the uh, to the binding uh, binding post setup or vice versa um, certainly it has to be more efficient in the main than a fairly short mobile whip so next time what we're going to do we're going to have a go with a slightly shorter bit of wire a non-resin wire this time uh, 7.6 meters it's the Ribicoff we're going to try remember that's a, a, a video I brought out a couple of times recently um, but instead of ground mounting it we're going to put it in the same position using a 4 to 1 unknown on the roof and use that in conjunction with a tuner and see if we can get some decent results with that that's going to be an interesting experiment too and if you like what you see you can click subscribe and also there'll be another video coming up soon if you want to have a look at that thanks for joining me we'll catch you again on another one take care now bye bye